All right, we're back to chapter five. This is going to be video number 15. We're going to carry on with the course list. And specifically, this video is going to focus in on the list button. So in my code, let's have a quick look at what we're doing here. So when we click on that, we're going to focus on taking the data from the text file. And you guys might remember that text file that we had. We had entered in some records. And taking this record right here from the text file, and we're going to stick it in the into the course list button box right there and then we're going to repeat we're going to loop we're going to do that here and we're going to put the second one in and so on until we've got all the records in that file all right now to do that again we're using um, with anything to do with uh, input and output so in this case now we're doing some input so we're going to definitely uh, need to have again just a reminder that io um, system io io namespace uh, using case directives here of all the case um, the classes and uh, to do that that has to be turned on now in this particular case because we're going to be reading input from a file and we're going to be saving each record I'm going to create a variable here called the course or courses information I guess as a string because we're going to need that we're also going to need to create that object to re kind of reverse what we did in the previous example instead of outputting our this information and outputting it, we're now going to input the information into this control box right here. So we're going to create um, an instance of uh, of an object here called the input file that's going to contain the information. It's going to catch that input. All right, to get started with that, let's assign the new input file uh, a name. So we use the same type of syntax, although now we say we want to open a text file. So we're going to open text of a file and we're going to call it the same name that we created and again we could go in here and set up a very uh, long um, pathway but if we did on you know one computer this program would not work on the next computer because the paths tend to change when people do installations all right and then this line here we're simply just cleaning up this box in case there was something there existing I want to have a fresh start so I'm going to clean that up all right now to, to get the individual data in to the input uh, file object here I'm gonna say something here well it says while this input file is not at the end of its stream well it's not at the end of the file so to speak uh, keep going so as long as you're not at the end and that's true let's keep looping so we decided to use the while loop because we don't know that it could have no records in it. in that case we wouldn't use the do syntax and we don't know how many records are in there, so we wouldn't use the for syntax. So in this case, the while is probably the best choice of repetition structures, looping structures, for this example. Now we could have done it a slightly different way and done it, you know, by saying that the input file dot at the end of stream is exactly equal to false. So it means that if you're at the first record, that would be false and is exactly equal to false. So that whole equation would equate to true because false equals false. But this one maybe reads a little bit better. Now, so that's true on the first case. So what it's going to do is going to look at that file. It's going to read it, drop to the second line of of that file and stick the information into our variable here called courses. So that's going to read the first couple of lines. So basically what that's doing is it's going to take this line right here and put it into the courses so it, it holds on to that value. And then the next line here is let's take that first record of course information and let's add it as an item to our list box. So all we're doing here is outputting into there. So it'll put the first one in. And because this is a loop, it's going to go back up and say, is there any more records? Well, we know there's more records because it'll just drop down to this one here. We're not at the end of the stream yet. So it drops down to here, and then it reads that information into the course variable here, and it displays that one into the item uh, list box. And it repeats, goes back up again, and does it again until we're at the end. And when we drop to the, uh, reads the, the last line, and it drops down here, and it's flashing here, then that's the end of the stream. So now it's not at the end of the stream. It is the end of the stream. So it's... Uh, going to come back false. It's going to get kicked out. And at the end, it's very important to shut that or close that. Without doing that, you're going to leave it open. It's going to cause all sorts of problems. All right, so that's kind of a quick walkthrough of how the list program works for basically inputting data from a file 